In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to roast a sweet potato in the oven. Welcome to this little kitchen. Not only is oven roasting the easiest option, but in my opinion, it's the tastiest way to cook a sweet potato. These are so easy because you literally just put your potatoes on a pan and stick it in the oven. You can of course wash and dry yours if you'd like, but I didn't bother since I don't generally eat the skins and these weren't extremely dirty. However, mine had been sitting for a minute and they were starting to go, so I did trim off the obviously bad spots before baking. I baked these at 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. I find that sweet potatoes generally take between 30 and 50 minutes depending on their size. You'll know they're done when you can easily pierce through them with a fork, butter knife, or skewer stick. Then I set them aside to cool before taking off the skins. I have seen some people poke holes in theirs with a fork before baking. I have tried it both ways, poking holes and not poking holes, and have found zero difference in the outcome. So if you know why people recommend the hole poking, please tell me about it in the comments below. One of the things I love about sweet potato is that in about a cup of sweet potato is only just a little over 100 calories, and it's got 2 grams of protein and 4 grams of fiber. So making sweet potato a really good option as a side dish. It's also got a fair amount of potassium in it. And potassium is a very important mineral that's essential for the body's functions. It actually helps your nerves, your muscles, and your heart to function well, and it also helps to move nutrients and waste around your body's cells. Most I'm a big fan of batch prepping food. I love to bake a few sweet potatoes at a time, so that I will have some leftovers for future meals. For instance, we had some as a side dish this night with our dinner of sourdough breaded and fried pork chops with roasted garlic and Brussels sprouts. All of these recipes are coming to the channel, so be sure to subscribe. And check in the description box as I will add the links in there once they're available. After this night, the kids and I had sweet potato with our lunch a few more times that week. Speaking of which, if you haven't tried mashed sweet potato with butter and breakfast sausage, you are totally missing out. The sweet mapley flavor of the sweet potato and the creamy texture pair so nicely with the sagey, savory goodness of a breakfast sausage. If you've never roasted a sweet potato the easy way, give it a try and then let me know how it turned out and what you thought. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. It really does help me out a ton. And if you made it this far, leave me a purple heart in the comments. Thanks so much for being here. See you next week.